Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Marine X back at it again. The great debate. Are you going to have flats? Are you going to have drums? Battery technology has come so far that there is legit now a debate. Are you going to have yourself a traditional drum style or cylinder style flashlight? Or you're coming in with some of that sauce and you're going to come up with the flats. Listen, guys, full disclosure right off the bat. For me, it's nothing but flats. Let me tell you why. Let's talk about the first reason. We got to talk about better ergonomics. The first flashlight I want to highlight when it comes to ergonomics has to be the Streamlight Wedge. This thing, MSRP, $158. You would be a plum idiot if you picked this thing up for $158. Nonetheless, it's very nice. I, I think I picked it up for 80 bucks on Amazon. And you, it's primarily designed to be held this way and you engage engage the actual flashlight by using your thumb which makes it easy and you you can engage full brightness by pushing it forward very solid it has an aluminum alloy construction you can get it in two different colors i just really enjoy this thing St sticking in the world of ergonomics we have to talk about the super popular o light arc fail this is Olight's best-selling EDC flashlight. You can often get it for 89 bucks. You know, if we're going straight for the battle of ergonomics, but if I only could choose one, I'm gonna have to go with the Streamlight. Even though it does, it's a little long in the pocket, this is designed to fit the grooves of your fingers and the grooves of your hand. The Olight feels good, but it does feel very slippery. I've taken on plenty of walks. I've used it with my dog. I've used it at, at night. But ergonomics is the first reason that people are going for flat flashlights. I see why. It's just so much better in the hand, not having something big and intrusive in your hand. Even if you have something smaller in your hand, the next thing that I most definitely love about flat flashlights has to be the user friendliness, the features that they're packing in these things. This skill hunt is a drum, has tons of features. It has an RGB mode, and I actually really like that. Tons of different light modes, strobe, this, that, and the third. But it's very, very traditional. Where I bring in some of my next examples here, we have the Phoenix Whiskey Tango 20R. Fantastic little flashlight. The thing about this thing, $92 MSRP, $70 is where it normally sells at. Max output about 400 lumens. The entire base of this thing is magnetic. So now if you wanna be able to put this thing down on a magnetic surface, obviously this is wood, you can do that. But when it's on that surface, you can also rotate the head over 90 degrees. We have its big brother here. This is the Phoenix Wick Whiskey Tango 25R. Same exact concept, magnetic base on the bottom, same flexible head on the top. This thing is about $106 MSRP. You can also pick this thing up between $70 and $100, usually closer to $100. The max lumens on this thing is much brighter at 1,000 max lumens, but they're both still fantastic flashlight user features that magnetic base you can get it on a drum type flashlight but they're really beefy they're usually really bulky any of my drum flashlights which have magnetic bases like olight those are normally don't have the features like the flexible head stuff like that so i love the user features when it comes to the flat flashlights the next thing i want to talk about when it comes to a flat flashlight hands down has to be the ability to have a minimalistic edc now yes of course with this lumen top you probably can get a way with a minimalistic EDC. It's it's doable, but when you put something in your pocket similar to the Rovion Angel Eyes Echo 200U. Fantastic little EDC flashlight. It fits in your pocket basically anything you're wearing. Sweatpants, jeans, joggers, you know, whatever. It fits in there very easily. It's so small. Has a little button on here, let you know how much charge is left on this thing. It also has a few features of which are user friendly as well. You can get these on drums, but this is a UV light that can kill germs, uh, kill germs on a, a doorknob. You can also look for like pet urine and stuff like that on sheets. Take it with you to a hotel room. It lets you know how well they cleaned the hotel room before you arrive. You can exchange the way that you carry this thing in. So I have it oriented so that the flashlight is carried with the beam down in my pocket. You can take this off, swip it, sw switch it around, carry beam up. When it comes to minimalism, when it comes to barely having a footprint, this is a banger. I mean, it's even smaller than these ba these nice little flat flashlights here. And these things weren't very big to begin with. So if we come in with something this small, it's fantastic. 
in has to be one of my top contenders when it comes to the world of flat flashlights. The last thing I really love about flash flashlights has to be their ability to get in some of the weirdest places you can think of. Your more traditional flashlights, where do we tend to keep those things? Our bags, your kitchen junk drawer, your emergency kits, stuff like that. But when it comes to a flat flashlight, you can now to begin to stick these things in a parts drawer. You can stick it in the top drawer of a tool kit in your garage. You can stick this where your coins go in your vehicle. Something small like the Nightcore P18 is something that you might want to keep in your vehicle. And this is often used by law enforcement, search and rescue, outdoor and camping. But now this thing packs as much punch as some of its more big beefy drum brother in which this itself is not the flattest i mean look at the skill hunt it's barely smaller than the skill hunt but still the nonetheless still basically a nice flat design 1800 lumens comes in about 99 dollars normally it does have two different light modes on it so it does have a red caution light here at the very top then it has the red the normal led flashlight as well it has great ergonomics and it feels good in the hand you can uh, a rear tail switch which is makes it easy for using especially if you want to keep this near your shoulder level and be able to engage the flashlight and overall flat flashlights have so many more use cases nowadays especially as battery technology has improved they're now able to fit more cells than ever before in a lithium ion flat battery or in the past, whereas a more traditional square or cylinder type battery is where they were put in all the, uh, packing all the punch. Now they're sticking in batteries, which are about the size of like 18, 650s and et cetera, and even smaller flat flashlights. Now, if you had to ask me out of these contenders, which one would be my favorite? You know, not necessarily comparing these against one another, but comparing them against the drum overall any of these i would take over a drum even though i believe that this is one of my favorite drum flashlights period right now the skill hunt ec 200 has to be one of my favorite right now if we're gonna take out of all these what is my favorite right now it has to be hands down the streamlight wedge it is just something that it keeps making its way to my pocket it feels really good ergonomically in the hand once you get this thing in your hand you engage, you engage that side switch there it is the easiest by far the easiest next to the the angel eyes to charge with the USB-C type charging and this is just one that i think if i had any of these that if this one grew legs i would be the most upset about comment down below guys what do you think about flats versus drums are you the type of person that's super traditional you're not changing shit you're going to be sticking with your drums are you nothing but flats i would love to know what your comments down below listen if you're not a part of the battalion make sure you hit that subscribe button down below we would love to have you a part of the battalion if this is your first time stopping by thank you for stopping by for everyone else we'll speak soon